four FAFSA secrets that can help you get more financial aid. Hi everyone, I'm Tina Steele, the FAFSA guru, and if you like what I have to say, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below. Secret number one, you want to fill out the FAFSA early. This is so, so important. Every year on October 1st, the FAFSA opens up. So for the 25-26 year, the FAFSA will be opening up October 1st, 2024. I recommend every student and family get the FAFSA filled out in October. The longer you wait, the more financial aid you can miss out on. Especially if you're a lower income family, there are state grants that you can qualify for. And depending on the state you live in, there are certain deadlines that if you miss, you will definitely not get that state grant. So apply early. Secret number two, report any special circumstances you have in your family directly to the college financial aid office. And what I mean by this is that when you fill out the FAFSA, you are required to use a certain year's income. So for example, for the 24-25 FAFSA that needed to be completed, students and families had to use their 22 income. Well, what if your income has changed? Maybe it's less. Maybe the 23 or 24 income is going to decrease due to a job loss or something like that. Or on that same note, maybe your 22 income was inflated due to a one-time source of income, such as a retirement distribution or a capital gain or something that's out of the ordinary and not something that you would normally receive in every tax year. Or maybe you had some significant medical or dental bills in the family in the 22 year, 23 year, 24 year. Or do you pay any private education expenses for K through 12 for any kids that you have in the household or any elder care expenses or any significant house repairs coming up that need to happen that are not just for cosmetic reasons or something like that. A lot of financial aid offices will take these things into consideration as special circumstances. You can simply navigate to the college's website and go to the financial aid office and then type in the search bar special circumstances or financial aid appeal. Each college will have what special circumstances they take into consideration outlined clearly and provide you with a form to fill out where you can report these special circumstances. A lot of students and families are not aware that you can do this and what they will then do is use this new information to reprocess and recalculate your financial aid. So if your financial aid was based on 22 income, but your 23 or 24 income is a lot less, they essentially would take out the 22 income, put in the 23 or the 24 income, whichever is going to be the year that you earned less, and then recalculate financial aid, which could mean more money in your pocket. So be sure to check the special circumstances policy of the college that you're applying to and do not miss this important step. A lot of families think they just have to wait until the next FAFSA year for that lower income to be taken into consideration. And as I mentioned before, they will also consider significant medical or dental expenses, elder care expenses, and some colleges will consider private education expenses you pay for children in the K through 12 school system too. Secret number three, and this is really mostly for people who are self-employed. As a self-employed person, you have a little bit more wiggle room in how you report your income. And when you fill out the FAFSA, that student aid index number, which used to be called the EFC, that's the number that calculates how much financial aid you're going to get from the college financial aid office. The lower your income, the lower the SAI number or EFC, provided you don't have significant assets. So if you're self-employed and you do have a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to this, look, the lower you can make your income look, the better when it comes to financial aid. And then secret number four, make sure you appeal your financial aid offer, even if you don't have any of the special circumstances that I mentioned to you earlier. 80% of students that I help through the financial aid appeal process receive additional financial aid. And I've seen students receive anywhere from $3,000 all the way up to $30,000. It just comes down to writing a humble financial aid appeal letter 
using some key strategies. And when you appeal, you're actually appealing directly through the college financial aid office. You're not appealing through FAFSA. So you're going to write this letter and then submit it to the financial aid office at each college that you're applying to, if that applies to you. Again, there is a specific strategy to use when writing this financial aid appeal letter, and it's really important that you get it in as soon after you receive the financial aid offer as possible. This is something that I can help with. I offer 50-minute financial aid appeal consultations where I can draft the letter for you. You can book that directly through my website, thefafsaguru.com, if you click on the consulting tab. I also offer a digital course that you can purchase that has an appeal letter template where you can just plug in your own information. You'll also find that on my website underneath digital courses. So those are four FAFSA secrets that can help you get more financial aid. And if you happen to be the parent of a current or rising high school senior, make sure you check out my Financial Aid Academy. This is my signature program I run every single year from September through May for high school seniors and their parents to help you navigate the overwhelming and confusing financial aid process and ensure that you get the best financial aid offers possible. This is a group coaching program with three different levels of service available, depending on how closely you want to work with me. And the majority of families in this program will receive an additional $25,000 in financial aid on top of their regular financial aid offers over the course of four years, and oftentimes even more just by enrolling in the Financial Aid Academy. And for anybody else that might need assistance navigating the financial aid process, if you're an independent student, non-traditional student, or a graduate student, or maybe you're the parent of a dependent student but you don't want to commit to a 10-month coaching program, be sure to check out my 30-day financial aid boot camp. This is a new program I'm launching this year. It runs every year from October 1st through October 31st so that you're getting in there and completing the FAFSA really early when it opens. It consists of a live weekly webinar with a Q&A session. Each week I will cover different topics in depth that will help you navigate the financial aid process. And you'll also get membership in my private Facebook group where you can ask unlimited questions for that whole 30 days. It'll include FAFSA tutorials, information about loans, scholarship information, how to effectively appeal financial aid offers, and so much more. You can learn more about that on my website also if you click on 30 Day Financial Aid Bootcamp. And then for anybody that I've never worked with before, I always offer a free initial 10 minute consultation call to answer any questions that you might have. You can also book that directly on my website. And for any of you that wanna take a little bit of a deeper dive into preparing for the college financial aid process and better understanding how it all works, how colleges determine financial aid offers and how much you might qualify for in financial aid based on your income, I highly recommend that you book a 30 minute consultation call with me where we can strategize and go over all of this information together, which you can also book on my website. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.